enacted with in some way or they somebody does something that they say, you can kind of flip them over like Yu-Gi-Oh, you've activated my trap card. There comes a point in every man's life where he realizes he has gotten old, and Muffin Time by Big Potato Games has probably made me realize that it is getting close to there. Uh, this is a meme song card game. So there's a song called uh, It's Muffin Time or Muffin Time. You can look up on YouTube, a link in the description. And basically, it's a bunch of craziness going on. It's kind of like the Neon Cat video. Uh, and in this game here, they've made the song into a card game. Players are going to be drawing cards. They will be then playing cards and attempting to gather 10 cards into their hand. If they can do that, they're going to shout and on their next turn, at the end of it, if they still have 10 cards, they're going to win the game. However, there are a bunch of cards in the deck that are going to try and stop players from being able to do that, and also change the rules of the game and the way to win. Will you be able to shout, it's muffin time, and securely hold your 10 cards in hand before another player stumps you and does it themselves? We'll take a look down below what the game comes with, how it plays, and then we'll talk about my review for the game, Muffin Time, a game about cooking muffins. The game plays two to six players, but I'll be showing you at the four player level. And it's very, very simple. Here are the rules here. Uh, a lot of it's just a lot of comedy. So I'll just go ahead and set this aside for you to enjoy and explain it. Everybody starts with three cards from the sh shuffled deck of muffin time cards. Then you'll choose a first player. That first player will probably be the person who last baked a muffin. Poor muffin. That player is then going to have the opportunity to play any trap cards in their hand face down or a trap card face down. These are trap cards. They're red. You'll play some like that. Then, after they've played their trap card, they'll have two options. Option one, draw a card from the deck and end their turn. Or option two is to play a card from their hand. Generally, action cards. Action cards are going to be played from their hand. When they play their action card, they'll do what it says, and then they're going to end their turn. This one says discard two cards, and all other players will have to discard one. And in this case, I only have one card left, so I just discard them both, and everybody would discard one. Card probably wouldn't want to use, so instead I'd probably draw a card. Then that player is done with their turn and the next player's turn will begin. They'll be able to place any trap cards face down on the board. And then they're going to be able to play an action card or draw a card. This one here says, I suck at this game. The player or players with the fewest cards in their hand will draw three cards. And I have the fewest, so I could play this card and that will let me draw three cards. Getting closer to 10 here. After that, end turn and the next player would go and it would continue the cycle up until the point where 10 cards were gathered by one player. Once one person has 10 cards, we'll just say that this is 10, then that player shouts out, it's muffin time! In which case, if it gets back around to that player's turn, that player is going to win by the end of their turn. Another thing to note is, if a player gathers 10 cards on another player's turn, they can also shout out, it's muffin time, and by that player's next turn, if they still have those 10 cards when they end, they will win the game. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward as to how it goes. There's a ton of cards we'll talk about above. Let's go ahead and do so, and then you can pick up the game if you'd like down below. Before we get into my review, I wanted to show some of the cards from the game, and also I wanted to kind of clarify what the green ones do. The trap ones, you place them face down one at a time in front of you every turn, and if they get enacted with in some way, or they somebody does something that they say, you can kind of flip them over like Yu-Gi-Oh! You've activated my trap card, in which case you'll do something interesting. Counter cards, counter cards pretty straightforward. It's from my Magic the Gathering and other games like that. Not today. Stop the current action trap or counter card. You can play this when it's not your turn to prevent somebody from doing something a little too heinous. Or uh, Oopsie Daisy or Yay Day uh, Opposite. Basically, you stop the effects of a card and redirect them to the person that is playing them. Nope. Stop another player from stealing your cards and no. Stop another player's action card and then steal that card from them. The trap cards have some unique little twists and turns as well. Like, for instance, what a twist. That would be a good twist card. If you have zero cards in hand, flip this card over and draw ten. It's muffin time, and if it gets back around to your turn, you can win the game. What time is it? If another player asks the time, you can steal four cards from them. Put this card on your face, and if nobody asks about it in the next round, you'll get to draw three cards. Otherwise, uh, or all the other players will draw, will discard three cards. And, uh, 
if you can trick somebody into saying what, you can draw three cards. So there's a bunch of little traps that kind of make you interact with the table. Blue cards actions are usually pretty simple, and these are the simple ones here. For instance, you adopted a pet, adopt three of the most recently discarded cards taking them from the discard into your hand. Any player wearing glasses will get to draw two cards, repeat the effects of the most previously played action card, so all players will then draw two cards if they wore glasses again, and maybe evil tie, steal one card from every player that has the same number of cards as you. Other unique and interesting blue cards are it's muffin time uh, or muffin time. Once you draw five cards by playing this action, however, there's actually a counter in the deck for this specific card. Uh, then you have some of these interesting cards. These are called mini games, which will have you do something interesting whenever you play them. For instance, you take a photo with everybody. These memories are precious. Why, why would you do that? It doesn't let you draw cards. <laughs> I think you just saved that card probably. Uh, how about baby voice? Choose another player to speak in a baby voice until the next turn. Uh, steal three of their cards if they fail. And then you have cards like uh, this one here, One Year to Live. Basically, it says the player with the most cards in their hand by your next turn is the winner. If it's tied, you go again. And this changes the victory condition of the game. There's a couple that do that as well. You also got some blank cards that you can kind of make your own of or a pointless card. Nothing actually happens. A lot of different cards in the game that all do different things. This game reminds me of we've never play tested this game. That's actually the title of a game in which basically just stuff happens. You're just throwing cards around and craziness is going to ensue. Your turns are very simple. It's very easy to play the game and basically anybody that's able to read and hold cards in their hand will probably be able to play this game realistically. And your objective is fairly simple as well, 10 cards. And if you can have 10 cards by your next turn, after which point you yell muffin, time, you win the game. And uh, getting there is challenging. It kind of reminds me of Munchkin in that way in which you're basically hoping to hold the cards that you possibly as long as you possibly can, but other players have counters. The first person to get to 10 likely won't win, so you have to be strategic in how you get to 10, point, 10 cards and at what point in time. And doing so, triggering a trap is gonna make a big difference. There's strategy in the game, but realistically, a lot of it is luck. If you draw a card that lets you draw five cards and the next player uh, draws a card that lets them discard three cards, that's going to be hurtful to them. In fact, most of the time, if you have bad cards in your hand, they're going to be just cards you want to hold anyway that will basically have you get to 10, which is why you can draw cards from the deck as opposed to taking an action. And that's pretty much the idea of the game. It comes with a ton of different, I guess, memes or little funny things from the song. I've watched the song now quite a few times, and I've showed the people who played on my live stream a game of this, <laughs> and uh, they've all enjoyed it as well. If you like the song, you're probably going to like this game. It's crazy. It's wild. It's random. And it has some unique little interesting social things that you can do in it. Uh, people who enjoy exploding kittens and bears versus babies, those who like other big potato games, are going to enjoy Muffin Time. If you're just a big meme fan, this is going to be something you should check out. Overall, it's a lot of fun, but it's going to serve a certain audience. This is going to be more for a playful audience, one that's not really invested in a whole lot of strategy, one something that's more of a filler, and something that's going to be random. You have to be okay with losing just because you happen to lose and not get the right cards, or you happen to have something played against you when you were about to win and the next player won. These are all things that can happen in Muffin Time, just kind of how it goes, but overall a good time. We played this multiple times, and I've played this many times now, even on the stream we played it more than once, and in fact we had to play it again just because one of the cards said we had to restart the game. So that's the kind of nuttiness that you're going to get in this game. It wouldn't be Big Potato Games if it didn't come with nice packaging, and this game still, they hold no uh, reserves when it comes to packaging their games. Here's muffin time and really high quality big big box for a basic card game in fact it also has a here's what you're missing little pack here where when you buy the little expansion the rainbow pack 40 extra cards you're so magnificent you might just want to throw up <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, if you're interested in the game, like I said, link down below in the description, you can pick up Muffin Time. And if not, you can at least watch the video for It's Muffin Time, a pretty good humorous event. Check out our website, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Check out our YouTube channel. Hit that like button, subscribe button. Make sure that you follow us here and the bell notification. We put out more reviews, games just like this one. And we live stream every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook. You can join us, link in the description as well. We give away games and play games just like this one every Wednesday. In fact, we did play this game. We had a lot of fun with it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, it's Muffin Time. I want to die that day. Uh -oh. Okay, that was a trap. Okay, draw.
All players aim finger guns at each other and the most targeted player discard three cards. Players, ties, goats, everybody. The two, one, two. How many cards two. do you have in your hand, Josh? Two, one, two. That's why he's counting. Do you have one card left? Yeah. So potentially we can all empty our hands. Anybody anybody can empty their hand. The most targeted? So plural. Let's, let's it can be tie. plural. Ties, everybody. The player is... Do we use both guns or just one gun? We use two. Oh, it it yeah. shows two. It says finger guns, plural. All so right. yes. And this can be players, plural. So if we everybody points at everybody else, we can literally just make this even right now. <laughs> Okay, fingers up. Okay, ready? Keep or whatever. Keep drawing them. On three. One, two, three.